This is question number five. We're told the diagram shows a sector BAC of a circle with centre A and radius 16 centimetres. The angle BAC is 0 0.8 radians and the length AD is 7 centimetres. In the first part of the question for four marks, we're asked to find the area of the region BDC. So here's B, here's D, here's C. We want this area. I'm going to find the area of the sector BAC and subtract from it the area of the triangle BAD. So if I do that, just drawing a quick sketch, we can put the information on and go ahead and simply find these values. So what we'll have is something that looks like so. So this now is the triangle BAD and this is going to be the sector BAC. So now here is my sector. We've got B, we've got A, we've got C. We have an angle of 0 0.8 radians and both AB and AC will be 16. We have now the triangle. The triangle has an angle of 0 0.8. We have B, we have A, we have D. We know that this is 16 and we know that this is going to be 7. If we look at the area of a sector, in general it's 1 half r squared theta, where r is the radius and theta is the angle measured in radians. For a triangle, we have 1 half a, b, sine, c, where a is one side, b is the other side and c is the enclosed angle. So let's work this out and then subtract away the triangle from the sector. So we're going to have now 1 half r squared. Well, the radius is 16, so it's 1 half of 16 squared, multiplied now by the angle in radians, which is 0 0.8, minus 1 half a, which is going to be 16, multiplied by b, which is 7, multiplied by the sine of 0 0.8. We need to make sure the calculator's in radians mode. Shift mode 4. So we've got 0.5 times by 16 squared times by 0.8. And that gives me now 102.4. So 102.4 minus, we've got 1 half times by 16, which is 8, times by 7, which is 56. So 56 sine of 0.8. That gives me 40.171, 40.1719, dot, dot, dot. And we can go ahead now and simply write this and round it off. So 102.4 minus the answer, 62.228. So let's write this in, 62.228, dot, dot, dot. Therefore, I'm going to write this now as 62.2 centimetres squared and that is given to three significant figures. So that's the first part of the question done for four marks. In the second part, again for four marks, we need to find the perimeter of the region BDC. So we want this length, this length, and then this length right here. So let's go ahead and sketch this up. We've already got DC. We know that AC is a radius at 16, AD is seven, so DC must be nine. So we'll put that information on and then we will find the two missing lengths we're looking for. So here's a quick sketch. We've got B, we've got A, uh, sorry, we've got D just here and we've got C. So we know that D to C is going to be 9. What we want is D to B and B to C. So I'm looking for this arc length and this length right here. If we consider the arc, the arc length given as L is equal to R theta. Again, R is the radius, theta is now the angle measured in radians. So we can say that BC will be equal to 16 multiplied by 0 0.8. So that gives me that BC will be equal to 12.8 centimetres. So that gives me the arc length. So this one right here is 12.8. We've got 9 and we need the length db. We can use the cosine rule for db. In general, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So what we're looking at is this triangle just here. So if I just drew a quick sketch, what we're after is the third side of the triangle. So just drawing this up now, 
we have 7 centimetres here. We have 0 0.8 being closed angle and 16 here. And this length right here is going to be BD. So what I can say at this stage now is that BD, so BD, will be equal to the square root of 16 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 lots of 16 multiplied by 7 multiplied now by the cosine of 0 0.8 radians. So again, we need to ensure that we're working in radians. I can't imagine you've switched your calculator in between, but just check that the calculator is in radians mode. 16 squared plus 7 squared minus now 2 times by 16, then we're going to have times by 7 times by the cosine of 0.8 radians. So that gives me now 12.204. So let's write this down. So BD is equal to 12.204 dot dot dot. Let's just go ahead and check that. Therefore, we can say now the perimeter will be equal to. We've got 9 plus the 12.8 plus the 12.204 dot 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 and we can just put these in a calculator. So I'm going to add to this the 9, I'm going to add the 12.8 and we can say that, that is 34.004, so 34.004 dot dot dot, so I'm going to say 34.0 centimetres and that again is given to three significant figures. So second part of the question were four marks also, we've used the cosine rule and now the arc length.